Hello everybody, Dr. Darok here, and welcome to a brand new series. Well, I guess it's kind of recycled, but it's 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 it's, it's got a new name now, and it's a brand new series as far as I'm concerned. Look at that pretty uh um what's what's the word for something with five sides? Hexagon? Yeah. A hectagonal. Yeah, hectagon? Something like that. I I'm, I'm totally derping right now on my um, on my geometry. Anyways, though, welcome to a brand new series, and I'm going to call it Doc's Castle. So, welcome to Doc's Castle. Now, uh, some of you, I don't, I'm not sure if anyone's around still that watched the Attack of the B-Team series that I used to do, but this is my Attack of the B-Team world. I'm on, uh, basically, it hasn't, it hasn't really updated at all, the mod pack, since last time I played it, except to add the Legacy Java Fixer. Hello there, Green Dragon. I, you had a name. I forget what it was, though. Um, but I can ride you if I want. Anyways, <clears throat> there hasn't been much that's changed since the last time I played Attack of the B-Team. All the same mods are in here, and, uh, all of my items, except for some items that I lost... Uh, after the filming of the last episode that I did, which was, I think, episode 17, if I remember correctly. But anyways, long story short, um, I've been requested quite a lot recently to do a different series. So, I figured it is indeed about time that I got started with another, um, Let's Play series. Now, I'm gonna be doing this series on Fridays. Okay, which y'all might realize is one of the days that I have been doing... Ugh. Oh my, excuse me, quite a lot there, that was terrible. Uh, you might recognize that Friday is one of the days that I have been doing the Blightfall series. And uh, I, I'm sorry to inform some of you that uh, due to popular demand, the Blightfall series is getting cut back to two episodes a week on Monday and Wednesday. And for the foreseeable future, if, if this goes well, I mean, this is just a test, it might change back, it depends on what you guys' reaction is, but for the foreseeable future, I'm going to be doing Attack of the B-Team on Fridays, which, uh, this is, this is, it's not going to be called Let's Play Attack of the B-Team, it's actually going to be called, uh, Doc's Castle. So, it's going to have a lot of significant differences to the Blightfall series. Most notably that it's not the Blightfall mod pack, so there's going to be different mods involved. And I'll be doing uh, lots of different things compared to what I would be doing in Attack of the B-Team. Still love the, still love the um, sky up there. Uh, the pen Pentagon. Yeah, Pentagonal. That's, that's a Pentagonal. Is that right? Yeah, it must be. Uh, sorry, I derped earlier on my geometry. It's been so long since I've been in high school. I don't use that stuff anymore, honestly. Uh, it's not like I use that in fixing computers. Speaking of fixing computers, I decided to put a computer on my head. Why? Just because I've got this whole list of hats that I unlocked last time. I, like, whenever I did this series, so I decided I wanted to arbitrarily and randomly place a hat on my head. Okay, so... In case you uh, are not familiar with the Attack of the B-Team series and you haven't watched any of them before, don't worry. You're not going to need to go back and watch them to understand things. But I do want to go and uh, showcase something that I worked on for quite a long time. This is the Hall of Minions. So in here, I placed statues of players who requested that they be placed in the Hall of Minions. Um, I think it was the first 18 episodes or so that I did this, uh, starting with, like, episode 5. So, uh, yeah. Uh, no, wait, there's only 17 episodes. I, I, anyways, point is, I filled up this entire room. Wow, I'm liking that. Cool Dan. It's been a long time. Been a long time since I've seen these faces, and a lot of them have changed their skins, um, although not all of them have. Um... But yeah, this is this is one of the things that I'm most proud of from this series. Uh, all these people requested that they be in the Hall of Minions, as well as all the people on this wall requested to be in there, but never got in. Now, I'm not sure if any of these people still watch my channel, because uh, between the time I did this series and the time that 
um, I'm now redoing the series. Well, it's been a long time, and there was a period of uh, no videos there, which probably meant that a lot of my former viewers uh, lost... Basically, they stopped getting suggestions to watch my videos on their YouTube feed. So they're probably still subscribed, but without actually, you know, ever getting to watch my videos, because unfortunately for them, They've been um, sort of blacklisted. There's a thing called subscriber burn, where if you don't put up a video often enough, or if you put up too many videos and people can't watch them all, you wind up, uh, in the end, just losing all of your views. Uh, and there's a, there's a pretty good reason for that, honestly. But, yeah, anyways, um, this episode, I'm not going to do too much uh, technical crazy things. Um, mostly, I'm going to be giving a little tour around the castle for anyone who's not familiar, and I'm going to be doing one little upgrade that I think is like a super cool idea. So, I am going to get prepared to do all that. Uh, I'm going to also put on my Invar armor here because I think it looks neat. And you might have noticed I'm using the Sfax Pure BD Craft um, resource pack, which is just one of my favorites, and everything looks so gorgeous, um, like this. It just looks amazing. So, oh, also, you might notice that I can't get in unless I go down here and hit this tripwire and get my stairs pushed up. And sometimes it doesn't work. It's a little derpy. But most of the time it works. Uh, <laughs> anyways... Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm I'm gonna get ready for to go through this little tour real quick, and I'm gonna show you guys a lot of the stuff that I did in the time that I did this series, and maybe talk about what we're gonna be doing whenever I get ready to like whenever I get back into the swing of things. Uh, but like I said, we're not gonna do anything crazy on this episode. Although I do have a pet dragon, so it's already a little bit crazy, and. I do have this whole castle, so it's already it's it's already already a little bit crazy. Um, actually, as a matter of fact, why don't I before I before I stop recording for a minute and to go get prepared? Why don't I show you guys the top floor up here? So this is the top floor of the castle. As you can see, I can I can look down upon my kingdom of grasslands uh, from here. Over here is where my bed is, and uh, obviously you'll notice that my bedroom is not exactly uh, fancy or decked out at all, but I did work very hard on all this stuff. And back here there should be a ladder? Okay, yeah. Cool, I still remember things. Um, up here there's just a bunch of lights and stuff, but this is almost the highest point in the castle. Oh, shut up, I don't care about a little bit of fall damage. Okay, uh, over here, this is something that I made in the very last episode that I actually p posted up on my uh, video. And uh, after I did this, they actually fixed this glitch, but basically I duplicated tons and tons of lava into the world and uh, by using this lava fabricator. And basically, I could use these lava fabricators to create more lava than was required. Like, the lava that I created with these fabricators was enough to create enough energy that I could create more lava than I started with. So ju with just a little bit of lava, I wound up getting basically infinite ability to have power. So I've got a lot of power backloaded, um, although I didn't really ever get to use it for anything uh, important or what have you. Over here happens to be, I've got some guns in here and things from Flan's mod. Uh, so that is cool, but probably not something I'll get into today. And then I've got these teleporter pads, which are awesome. So I'll take this teleporter pad up here, and we'll take a look and see my castle from way up here. Now, you'll also see I've got a nice farm over here. And in that farm, I've got a number of different witchery-related items, uh, which I never got around to using because I didn't really know how to use witchery. But in playing the Attack of the B-Team mod pack with my girlfriend Kristen, uh, I've actually learned witchery um, on my own and a little bit with her. So yeah, that's, that's something that I think is awesome. Also, Kristen really likes the Attack of the B-Team mod pack. We have our own separate world for that. But, it's a, there's a good chance that she will get to play with me, and uh, we'll get to do that. Hey, look, this cow is a sim. <laughs> what is this? This horse has a butt sombrero. 
Oh my god, I forgot how much I loved this mod. Um, but yeah, I've learned lots and lots of things since the last time I played this mod pack, and I'm hoping that over the course of the next few episodes, I'm going to get to show you guys a lot of those cool things that I've learned uh, in between basically the time that I quit doing this series and now. And uh, like I said, not really this series. I guess the Attack of the B-Team series. This series is going to be known as Doc's Castle. And it's going to be different than the Attack of the B-Team series in that it's going to be a little bit more Let's Play style. The Attack of the B-Team series was really, really structured and uh, very planned out. But I just don't have the time to do that right now. So, um, I mean, it might in the future go back to being very structured and have, like, some semblance of a story or, like, some really or be highly edited, but I just don't have the time to highly edit it anymore. But, seeing as I'm only going to be doing one episode a week of this series, um, you know, I, I, I also have, do I have no, do I have no levels? I have no enchantment levels. They're all in the tank, I guess. Anyways, considering I'm only going to be doing one episode a week of this series, I'll have that whole week to plan out what I'm going to do, so I should be doing some pretty in-depth, exciting things that involve research and things like that. Um, I've got a few more exciting things that I want to show you around the castle before we move on to getting things done. So I'm going to take a quick breather, uh, grab myself something to drink, and I'll be right back in just a moment. Okay, I'm back, and we are ready to continue the tour. So this is the room where I store most of my loot and things that aren't specialized for a specific mod. Some things in here are specialized for mods, but... Some things I also have, like, a specific room for, for example. Uh, over here is my Tinker's Construct stuff, which you've already sort of seen. Anyways, uh, in here I keep ores, and in here I keep a whole bunch of cobblestone and stuff. Over here I keep stone and cobblestone, and bricks, and gravel, a chest full of dirt. All that stuff is very exciting, I know. Um, in here is my wood items and things relating to wood and uh, sometimes other things like pineapples. Pineapples grow on trees, so they're related to wood, right? I've also got a redstone chest, which doesn't see much use anymore. Um, and if you're wondering how I built this giant castle, I used this guy, the building guide, which uh, I'm sure I'll exhibit that in a future episode when I decide to build another structure. But for the most part, it basically just gives you a big old outline of exactly the size Size and shape you want for you to place blocks into so it's really super cool for making like big symmetrical structures and not messing up in here mostly random stuff weapons and tools a um, little bit of armor maybe but mostly stuff that I don't use most of the time here why don't I put this brain on a stick in here sure okay what is this a king slime battle sign oh yeah I got that as a drop once <laughs> from a king slime that spawned oh boy that was a fun time I think I got that on video I'm not really sure though I don't remember it was so long ago I stopped doing this video like a year and a half ago hey baked potatoes I need those um why are those in here that's a bad place for those so in here I've got diamonds and blocks of diamonds peridot sapphire ruby obsidian coal things like that here's a dragon egg I actually beat the if I remember correctly I did beat the ender dragon but I died like three times and lost like all of my stuff doing it um, so I actually had to make an entirely new slew of uh, a lot of my tinkers construct tools okay so that kind of sucked but I'll, I'll introduce you to all my tinkers construct tools in just a moment uh, I had all these ready for a new episode but I just sort of gave up on the series uh, back then it just wasn't getting like the attention that I thought it needed it wasn't really growing my channel much to do it so I figured it wasn't worth doing anymore but now with a new viewer base and more than 5,000 subscribers I think it's about time to revive this series and I hope you guys really enjoy it whenever we get into the swing of things like I said this is sort of like a pilot episode I'm not gonna be doing uh, I'm really just doing like a tour on this episode and then we're gonna do one really fun like cool interesting thing that I actually learned from believe it or not the blightfall mod pack so <laughs> that's gonna be fun over here I've got a whole deck of machines pulverizers redstone furnaces induction smelters and they're all covered by brick covers 
okay? And behind them runs an energy conduit, which basically comes up from the basement where I do my energy production. So let's go ahead and take a look at my energy production system really quickly. This is the first floor of the Hall of Minions. I've already shown it to you guys, and uh, this is is the second floor of the Hall of Minions, which is, as you might notice, is not yet complete. Oh, this is cool. The the number of bookshelves that are up from this depend on how close I am. So that is pretty neat, um, in my opinion. And uh, I hope that you guys think that that's cool as well. Anyways, as you can see, there are a whole bunch of people in here, uh, most of which probably don't even get my videos in their notifications anymore, even if they're still, still subscribed because of how long I went without making Minecraft videos. But in the end, I think that it's a great way to start because sooner or later, uh, uh, in fact, let me just announce right now that if you leave your Minecraft username in the comments below, I will pick one person each episode to add to the Hall of Minions. All right, just one. I'm not gonna hold like a backlog list or anything, okay? So if you're not the one that's chosen and you still want a chance to be in the Hall of Minions, you'll have to comment on the next video again, okay? So that's just, I just wanna explain how that works. Um, make sure you comment your Minecraft username below because I need your username. See, as you can see, this is a statue of Neytiri Dragon, which is actually my mother. Uh, this is a statue of Joe Buzz, and I actually need your exact Minecraft name with exact capitalization in order for this to work, or else I won't, it won't be able to download your skin and put it on the statue, okay? So I just want to make sure that everyone is clear on that, uh, and the capitalization needs to be right. So over here, I've got a bunch of magmatic dynamos and hardened energy cells as sort of an energy bank. And then over here, I've got hardened energy conduits that go under the floor here and under some covers. And then behind this wall somewhere, I'm not sure where behind the wall, honestly, but it's behind the wall and it comes out over here, goes into yet another, oh, it's, I guess it's not under the wall. I guess it's under the floor for the most part. Is, where can I find those? Oh, I, get, I think it's over here in this corner, honestly, so I didn't have to put panels everywhere. Anyways. Not the point. Point is, I've got another energy cell right here, just as one final buffer uh, before it goes to the rest of the thing, uh, the rest of the castle. And I've also got this energetic infuser here, which is something that I need in order to put energy into tools. Okay, so that's something that's uh, pretty important. I need that for certain things, like, oh, okay, uh, okay, I guess it's time to introduce you to my Tinker's Construct Tools, okay? So, first up, we've got Diggersby, the pickaxe. Now, if anyone gets the reference there, then you can let me know in the comments section and tell me that you appreciate it, or if you think it's dumb, but either way, the pickaxe is named Diggersby. Get used to it. Uh, the next thing we've got here is Sir Choppa, and you might notice that if you've been watching the Blightfall series anyways, you might notice that Sir Choppa is actually named similarly to Choppa from the Blightfall series. And it's actually just sort of the name I've always used for these lumber axes or whatever they're called. Um, I, I forget exactly what the proper name of that, but I, I just usually call it like a lumber axe or a super axe or something like that. But uh, yeah, get to Sir Choppa! Um, but that's not the point. Next up, we've got the Terrainifier. And that is, um, this is actually, these two are actually original tools. Uh, I never lost these tools, so I didn't have to remake them. So that's pretty cool. And Thor also, I believe, is an original tool. So Thor is really cool. Thor actually uses redstone flux instead of durability. So as long as I keep Thor charged with redstone flux, Thor's um, durability never goes down. It's got looting three and fortune three, as well as sharpness uh, and auto repair. Um, and reinforced three means that it uses less energy uh, most of the time. So if I just pop this into the energetic infuser here, you'll see that it gets filled all the way back up and there we have it. Thor is back to full energy and uh, the energetic infuser is uh, quite good. And now as you'll see, this hardened energy cell is going back up and it'll cap back out at two million redstone flux pretty, pretty soon. Um, it, it had to refill the energetic infuser and all that fun stuff. But, so that's how that works. That's a pretty fun thing. 
I don't know why it didn't have a durability bar before, honestly, but that's okay, no big deal. Uh, next up, I've got the Inferno Hammer, which I don't think I ever showed off in any of my videos, but I made it off, off camera, and I was ready to reveal it in one episode, but I never got around to it. Um, it is basically, uh, it's got auto smelt, and that's why it's called the Inferno Hammer, so uh, as I mine things, it'll automatically turn them as I mine ores, it'll automatically turn them into ingots. So that's pretty cool. Oh, okay, I see. So the, it just went away because it, like, used auto repair and that glitches the bar away for some reason. I'm not sure what happened there. Anyways, so that's the cast of my Tinker's Construct Tools. It's a pleasure to have you meet them all. Um, I've also got one more thing that I want to show you. This is the Master Staff, and I'm not sure if you're familiar with this, but it's from a mod called the Minions Mod. And the Minions mod basically lets you summon your own minions to do your bidding. And, uh, of course, I in in the Attack of the B-Team series, my goal was to be an evil scientist who took over the world. Well, well, a mad scientist, really. Not evil, I wouldn't say. But but a mad scientist who, who took over the world of Minecraft using the power of his minions and his great intellect. Um, so why don't I go ahead and show you what this is like. Hello, Minion! How are you? Doing well? Smack. Uh, lightning bolt. Zappity zap. Okay, so anyways, the Minions do all sorts of cool things. They'll dig mine shafts or strip mine in a particular direction. Um, I can have them dig, like, specific dimensions, which is crazy. Uh, I can also command them, uh, to, like, move about. Go over there. Or, oh wait, I guess I've already got two of them so go over there go over go over here go go somewhere hello what just happened did I summon another minion okay fine I'll summon I'll summon a fourth minion now I should be able to command them about okay great so as you can see wherever I click they will go and that is super cool I can also um, assign them to place the items that they collect while mining into specific chests and things and I can even do this come here pick me up Carry me over there, please. Ha 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 Okay, so now that you've seen all that, there's just one more thing that I want to show you before we move on and do the thing that I promised we would do by the end of the episode. And that thing is the dubstep gun. Now, this has been my favorite favorite weapon since like the first or second episode of the Attack of the B-Team series, which is now called Doc's Castle, and I'm going to keep repeating that until I get it drilled into my head. Um, but, basically, it does this. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so, with all that cool, fun stuff out of the way, there's not much more that I need to do, except for do something that actually changes the world, which I haven't yet done today. Oh man, look at that thing, huh? Wah, 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 big old dubstep gun. Um, so I wanna do this. I've got a little room over here, okay? And this is gonna be, oh, whoops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that at all. Um, anyways, this is basically gonna end up being my treasure room, okay, once I, once I move things over here. Uh, but so far, the only way in it is from, uh, it's, it's a very roundabout, annoying thing that I have to do. Um, as you can see, I can't even really do much from here, like right now. Although, I can actually, I can transform into a bat, and then I can do things down there. Uh-huh, as you can see, now that I'm a bat, I can run down here, I can come out here, I can come up in my nether wart farm, and then I can ride this all the way up to my bedroom. So, basically, teleport down from the bedroom, take this big old roundabout way, back here, through here, under here, come back up, and I'm in the treasure room. So, it was, it's, it's difficult and annoying to get into this room, which wasn't really the intention. So, I want to do something about that. I'm just not sure. Well, I wasn't sure what. But I had this great idea uh, that I actually, from a thing that I learned from uh, Blightfall. So, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm actually going to use uh, a cool little thing called a redstone book. So, I'm going to make this book called Redstone Volume 1 by combining a book with a redstone torch. All right. Now that I've done that, I want one other thing, and that is a drawbridge. Oh, uh, why is, what is going on with this cheat mode thing? Can I get rid of these? Can they go away? Okay, good. 
Got those, got rid of those. That's not what I wanted to do at all. <laughs> Can I like, I guess, I guess whenever I like did the update, it disabled my cheat mode disabling thing. There we go. Okay, so that should do the trick. Now if I click on this, it'll show me the recipe. Okay, whoops. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, that happens sometimes. Um. Anyways, the way I want to do this is I want to make this drawbridge. So that's going to require a dispenser, a blank cast, two gold ingots, um, three, uh, four bronze ingots, and a redstone. And so I'm going to make that real quick, or, or at least gather up the materials, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm all ready to do this. The smeltery, oh wow, the smeltery is empty? I didn't think it would be totally empty. Okay, so I realized, actually, I had made an error. And that error is, I said gold, but I actually need aluminum brass ingots. I can't even use gold. So, I'm just going to melt down some aluminum, some uh, one copper ore and three aluminum ore to make aluminum brass. All right. Uh, shh, 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 sweetie. Be quiet. Hush. Okay. Um, yeah, my dragon, my dragon decided to roar. Is there something out here? Are, are you scared? No, my dragon's not scared. <laughs> Who am I kidding? My dragon is ferocious. Um, okay, so there, as you can see, there's six molten aluminum. Here's one molten copper. Okay, so in just a moment, all of this will turn into aluminum brass. If I've done my maths, maths correctly, I do believe that's the case, right? Okay, so I've got eight ingots of molten aluminum brass. That's awesome. Oh my gosh! Ah, that's my dragon's nose. What are you doing? Why are you sticking your nose through the... Oh, my gosh. How weird. How weird. And Does anyone else think that's really weird? I think that's really weird. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pump out these ingots of aluminum brass. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and make some bronze as well. So here comes the aluminum brass. The bronze is coming up next. I only need two of these, but I'm going to go ahead and empty all eight out of there. Although, actually, I guess... I, I kind of need, what is it? A blank cast. So that should cost two ingots worth. So I'm going to go ahead and do this uh, for just, there we go. Now I'm going to take that out and make a blank cast. Okay, so the blank cast is made, and the bronze should be, oh, I guess that only took one. Okay, well the bronze should be coming up anytime now, and then I will have basically all the ingredients. I still need to turn this into a bow, and I guess, let's go ahead and make, while we're waiting, let's go ahead and make the dispenser. So I'm gonna take this, and these, and make a bow. And I'm gonna put this bow right here, and some redstone. I guess I'm gonna need another redstone there, aren't I? And some cobblestone. There we go, made a dispenser. Okay, now I'm gonna take some of this molten bronze. I need four ingots worth. So let's go ahead, is, is that right? Am I doing this right? Let me just make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, bronze. It's bronze. Okay, good. So there's one ingot of bronze. There's two ingots of bronze. Okay, hush. I hear you. I hear you. I know you're out there. You're making noise. You want to go for a fly or something? We can do that sometime, okay? Just not right now. All right? So there we go. Now we've got four bronze ingots. So let's just go ahead and take and put all this stuff together. Dispenser. Actually, why don't I do this the easy way? Just like this. So I've got bronze, bronze, bronze. Aluminum brass, aluminum brass, and a blank cast. Okay, so now I have created a drawbridge, and the drawbridge is going to do something pretty cool. I hope it works up and down. I'm pretty sure it does. Um, so basically, I'm going to take this drawbridge, and I'm going to plop it right here. Okay, awesome. And uh, now I've got to run over to my supplies room, and we're going to grab some bricks. I need two stone bricks, so that's easy peasy. I'm going to need one marble brick as well. Okay, so that's all, I, that's all I need for this. Everything is ready now, okay, and this is super easy to make. So now I just need to put my two stone bricks there. My marble brick there will change the appearance of the drawbridge, okay, and finally, I'm gonna need, um, I'm gonna need to do like, uh, gosh, let's see here. How do I do this? So why don't I, I think what I'm gonna need to do is like dig that right there, okay? And after I'm done digging that, 
I'm going to place some redstone dust right there. And then, if I put this Redstone Volume 1 book in there... Oh, ho, 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 ho! So now, I can access my treasure room by removing a secret book from a bookshelf. And that's something that I learned in the floating city in the sky from the Blightfall mod pack. Uh, that's just an interesting little trick that I learned. So, as you can see, that's what I, that's what I had planned. Um, that's probably not too impressive, but it is kind of cool. I just wanted to, like, do it because I thought it was a neat idea. And, uh, because I felt like if I didn't do something, then it, this would not be an episode. This would be, like, a tour of what I'd done previously. You know, you know what I mean? Okay, guys. So, that is it for today's episode of Doc's Castle. Um, episode one, the tour? Yeah, I'm gonna call it the tour. Um... So, thanks for watching Doc's Castle. Make sure you tune in next week on Friday for another episode of Doc's Castle. And don't forget to watch Blightfall on Monday and Wednesday as well. And if you haven't watched all of that yet, catch up. Watch, per, binge watch it all weekend. Okay, how's that sound? If you haven't watched, and if, you, and if you're all caught up on Blightfall, but this is the first you've ever heard of the Attack of the B-Team series, okay, then before the next episode of Doc's Castle, Go ahead and go back and watch my entire Attack of the B-Team series because it actually documents my growth as a YouTuber from someone who had just started doing Minecraft Let's Plays. I mean, this was my first Minecraft Let's Play that saw any sort of, like, reaction or response at all. Um, so it's really, it was really, like, crucial. I mean, I think, if I remember correctly, my voice was pretty annoying. Um, I have deepened my voice in the time since then and changed the way in which I talk, things like that. So I think I think the way I narrate now, the way I do commentary is better. Um, but you might you might think differently. Perhaps you'd rather if I talked like this or something. Ha ha ha. Um anyways, thanks so much for watching this episode. Uh, I hope you come back again next Friday for the next episode of Doc's Castle. I want you to go down before you leave. You made it all the way to the end of this video, you know. So, before you leave the video, first, I got I got two things for you. The first thing I want you to do is right below this video, there's a little thumbs up button. I want you to hit that because it takes one second to do and it will really really help me out and uh, let me know that you actually uh, want to see more of this um, now if if people like this like series then I'll definitely keep doing it uh, if no one really likes the revival of the attack of the B team then uh, maybe I'll stop doing it after a few episodes or whatever uh, it's really like I'm this is experimental I'm putting my I'm, I'm putting my feet in the water here and testing the temperature and if you guys like this, then I will definitely keep doing it. Because the entire thing that I do on YouTube is try and please my subscriber base, okay? So, yeah, I really hope that you've enjoyed this. Um, and on the next episode, we're going to be doing some fun stuff. Although I really don't know what it is yet. I've got a whole week to plan, though. So you better bet that it's going to be something interesting. Um, I do want your feedback, though. I want you to go down. The other thing that I was, I was saying that there's two things, right? The other thing that I want you to do is I want you to go down in the comments section. I need some feedback. First of all, my living area here. This is like a living room, sort of, uh, or a, or a, um, I don't know, a lounge or something. Um, this area is pretty barren. I could really use some suggestions on how to spice this up with some new things that, um, you know, would help make it more exciting, perhaps. So that is something that I really want you guys to leave a comment on. The second thing is I want your opinions, so you can do one or the other of these commenting things. Or you can just leave a general comment, that's alright, I'm just giving you ideas. Um, I also want some opinions on whether you think this is going to be a good series, or whether you think I should keep doing uh, three episodes of Blightfall a week. Like, is it worth uh, only getting two episodes of Blightfall every week to get another series in the mix? Because, I mean, I really only have time right now to make three Minecraft videos a week and they've all got to be like let's play style where I can pretty much bust it out in less than an hour um, Which I think this one's gone on very long although I really haven't been watching the clock I just had an idea of what I wanted to do and I was gonna keep going until I managed it um, So yeah uh, That's it everybody make sure you leave a comment and hit that like button 
and I will see you guys next time.